me down Don't let me down what is going on YouTube? So I haven't forgot about you guys. I know I haven't been posting the way I want to. Uh, it's just a lot of things happened. So basically, probably about three weeks ago now, uh, I strained my tricep and um, it's not anything too serious. It's recovering pretty nice right now. Gain full range of motion back into it. But uh, for that week and a half or so, um, it kind of just derailed. Not just my workouts and not just everything, but kind of just where my mindset was at. Um, I really couldn't go to the gym, really do anything, even functionally moving, just trying to uh, go and like sit down and like push on it would hurt. So it was one of those things where um, it kind of just messed my whole mindset. So uh, it was rough for those probably week and a half, I want to say, um, just because I kind of got in my own head. I got lazy, didn't keep up to tracking my macros, wasn't working out every day kind of fell off on other priorities I had to do, um, didn't have the best attitude when going to work. It was just kind of, it derailed my whole mindset. So um, not having that mindset, it was kind of hard to like want to post videos or even do videos. Um, I want to get back to doing more workout videos. I feel like I've kind of fallen off on that in a sense where I'm not posting even workout videos in general. I'm doing more topic videos. So I do like doing topic videos, but kind of getting back to bread and butter things. I want to start doing more training videos, stuff that you guys can learn from, stuff that, that can help you guys out with things, um, things that I can learn from too. So uh, in that sense, I actually have a pretty uh, good idea that I'm coming up with. Um, it's going to be a little mini series I'm doing on this channel. Um, I'm thinking of just calling it Body Build. And the reason why is because uh, simply, I come to terms with that. That's what my style of training is. I'm a bodybuilder. Um, not so much in the sense where I'm competing or I'm trying to go on stage but the way I work out the way I hold myself accountable I do a lot of bodybuilding stuff I want to get more into being athletic again and into getting more uh, functional but I think for just for the easiest way to put it I'm going to call the series bodybuild just because it's going to go over a lot of different things that I do to uh, keep myself in shape to push myself uh, different training styles so um I want to say uh, I'm not going to so much focus on like hitting body parts like I normally do in my videos. It's going to be kind of just what I do in general that I make myself stay m mentally motivated, physically in shape, physically healthy, and just how uh, to get through it. So it's not going to be just like oh like an arm workout or a chest day or leg day. It might be a little bit of both. It might just be a full body workout. It might be a hybrid where I'm doing shoulders and chest. So um, I'm going to say that that's going to probably be a four week thing and then I'm going to try to do two videos a week with it. That is my ultimate goal right there. I'm going to try to come up with a schedule. I feel like I'm a lot better when I'm structured at getting things done and accomplishing them. So I'm going to do a schedule of what days I can do stuff just so it fits well. So um, I'm looking forward to that. So I did want to get on this topic was I did a poll on Instagram about I want to say a week and a half ago. and. Uh, the reason why I did this poll was because it really got me thinking with my injury was um, what really motivates people to get into the gym or what motivates people to work out or to stay in shape. And uh, I had these two options for it was a lot of people work out to look good, to stay in shape uh, for appearance wise, just that's what they're in the gym for. And then other people train for performance, uh, athletics, uh, how strong they can get. So for me, uh, I kind of got down on myself and this is why I got in my own head was because when I did hurt myself I was still able to work out it's just I was able to put up weight at how I want to do I wasn't able to do full uh, exercises or range of motion the way I would normally do it so uh, I kind of got down on myself and I actually had a pretty like I don't want to say blow up but I got pretty frustrated with myself and I was like yelling at myself like what's the point of even like doing this if I can't put up the right weight like it was one of those things like I really frustrated myself so I was thinking like really what's more important to me because I don't even get that mad at myself when like I feel like I'm putting on a little bit of water weight or I'm getting a little bit bloated I won't get that mad at myself but um I don't know it just something snapped in me where I was like why like I got legit got mad so um I was thinking like I wonder what people think like what's more important to them is it looking good looking like you have a freaking six pack having everything like nice and like cut and everything defined but not maybe having all the performance or not all the strength that you would want or is that you're able to be super strong, you're able to do things really well, you're fully mobile, like you have really mo have good mobility, you have a lot of like, just like natural strength and core, like 
is that more important to you so uh i think for me just because of the way i reacted with that i think for me a lot more more is more performance uh in the gym i like pushing myself i like uh challenging myself to more than just what i look like what my appearance is i'm not gonna say it doesn't matter to me at all because it does matter to me but um just going through that struggle and that was the most frustrating thing for me was like I wasn't feeling like I was really pushing myself or I was really like challenging myself because I was having to take it down a notch because of the injury. So uh, I just thought it was very interesting. That pull was very, very uh, like back and forth. Like one second, the performance and effects would be leading and then all of a sudden freaking you get like a whole bunch of people voting for appearance and looks. So uh, it's very interesting dynamics. Um, I just thought it was cool because it makes you see like the different mindsets people have. And the people I follow on Instagram, people that follow me, seeing that what they thought and their mindset. So it was kind of cool to do that. Um, like I said, uh, it's not to put anyone down or like to make anyone think that what they're doing is wrong. It's just what your preference is. And I think for me, that before I could say it was more about looks. It was more about uh, how my appearance was, how uh, pretty much cut I could get, how defined I could get. But... Uh, now I feel like I've fallen so much with the gym and the grind of it that it's just, I like challenging myself. I like pushing myself. I like being able to push up weight. Or I like doing different exercises where I'm not gonna feel that same kind of burn that I normally would just be doing just from a normal cookies, uh, bread and butter exercises, but just doing chest or doing a uh, squat. Like I like doing different stuff that pushes me, that makes me feel athletic, that's explosive, that makes me, like I, I love being athletic. That's one of my favorite things is I love when I feel like my body's really working versus we're just kind of going through the motions. So uh, I guess that's what I have to say about doing uh, that little pull. And I like doing those Instagram pulls just because I like seeing the different reactions. The ones I've been doing lately, um, they just, it's so split, so even. So it's nice seeing different uh, opinions and different ideas. So I'm going to keep doing those pulls just because they're a lot of fun to see. And it's just, uh, it's a good way just to connect with your following. So I like it. Um, Alright guys, so I'm done with this video. Like I said, I'm going to be having that body build series coming up. Like I'm playing up a schedule. I don't want to say it's going to start next week. I'd probably say the week after. Just because I want to give my time, uh, my body a little bit more time to heal. And make sure everything's good with the tricep before I try to... No, I'm not going to say I'm going to go hard in these videos. But I just want to make sure I'm able to fully able to do everything for you guys. So I would say probably not till next week I'm going to start that, but I'm going to come up with the schedule of what I'm going to do and uh, what it's going to be like. I would like to have like people in that with me. So I mean, uh, it's just all about scheduling. I do want to incorporate people so I can feel like if people want to like be part of like those videos where they're doing the workouts with me, I'm more than down for it. I think it's cool uh, to always get different opinions, different styles of training. Uh, it's always cool, so uh, we're definitely going to have that come up. This is a little check-in, guys. Thank you for watching, and I promise I have more to come. I definitely will. I'm keeping up on that, and this is a challenge to myself to get this done. Later, guys. Mm -hmm.